What is up, Press Start Sports? And you are watching the 2012 NBA Draft, where you will soon see who the Philadelphia 76ers will pick for the number one overall pick in the NBA Draft. Kind of sounded weird, but... Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to hear you, David Stern. Just, we're going to listen to Josh right now. Okay. So, honestly, this is this is a really exciting moment for me because I had no idea if my guy was going to be taken. I didn't know if I chose the right guy or not. But it's going to be a good season, I'm just telling you. Philadelphia 76ers select the 20-year-old power forward from the University of Kentucky. So you see Anthony Davis goes number one overall to the Philadelphia 76ers. Maybe, just maybe, that would be very good for them. And now the Hornets, the actual um, number one overall pick legitly for this year. Um, they get the second overall pick, which is weird. And they pick up Thomas Robinson. Oh, that's that's a pretty legit pick because uh, he's very athletic. He's powerful. He's got strength. So that's going to be good for them. And the Bobcats who got uh, jacked from number one this year, go number three instead of uh, the actual number two. They pick up Harrison Barnes, who is projected to go number four to the Cleveland Cavs this year. I am so excited. Hopefully we get Harrison. I mean, like, it would be amazing. Also, Thomas Robinson is um, also said to be available, so that would be pretty cool, too. And the Cavs pick up Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Uh, kind of came out a little weird. But that's going to be another good pickup for him or for them, because he's a small forward, and we do need to pick up on our small forwards, because the loss of LeBron, it's kind of sad, we don't have a small forward, we don't have any big men, I mean like, prosperous big men, so that'll be pretty good, and Perry Jones from Baylor goes to the Kings, and next pick is the Jazz, and this was crazy, Alec Burke, I could have I could have sealed the deal on picking who I wanted to, um, but I didn't want to get rid of uh, Paul George, so, um, this was the moment I was like, oh, please don't pick him, please don't pick him, but they picked Tony Mitchell, so I'm like, oh, thank you so much, I was so glad that you did not pick who I was going to choose, but right here, you are going to see. the seventh pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the 20-year-old power forward from the Ohio State University. So you see that we pick up Jared Sellinger, Sully Swag, 6'9 power forward, out of Ohio State, I had to pick my home state team, come on, let's go. So I'm excited that we have uh, Jared. He's going to add just some power down low. Hopefully that will be really good for our team. Our team's 11th overall right now, so that's pretty cool. And right here, um, I declined that trade. And the ninth pick, we pick up Terrence Jones right out of Kentucky. That's going to be pretty good because uh, uh, being 6'8", it's going to be a very good power uh, small forward. He has a lot of athleticism athleticism which I like and right here you see this trade I could get I can get Wesley Johnson and the n t number 10 overall pick for Paul George but I declined it honestly I think that was a big mistake I honestly don't know because I could have got Austin Rivers or somebody um with Wesley Johnson but I decide not to trade Paul George and right here you see with the number one pick in the second round I pick up uh Mason Plumley, and then it, with the sixth pick he was projected to go undrafted but I really liked him William Buford out of Ohio State. He's going to add a nice uh, shooter's touch from the three-point range. And you see right here, I will trade away my uh, seventh, uh, second round seventh pick to the Raptors for two uh, for two picks next year. And I get Amir Johnson for uh, Mason Plumlee too. Also right here, you're going to see I release Matt Bonner. I just think he just really wasn't needed uh, for the team at the time. And you see right here, a new player is on the team. We get Shannon Brown. I honestly wasn't expecting um, him to accept the contract that I offered him, but we picked him up. And then Terrence Jones rising high, which is pretty awesome. And uh, Shannon Brown, that's just cheese. 2K cheese. Get Cole on here. Look at that. That was a nice shot. Uh, what else can you expect? I mean, like, that's going to be crazy if he actually pulls that off this season. And right here, Gerald Wallace goes right in, going hard, slamming it down. Darren Williams outside Gerald Wallace, pop and drop and polka dot, and from three-point range, bringing the pain. That's going to be sick. And Terrence Jones also showing some mid-range depth, sinking it from mid-range. 10 to 5. I was I believe I was going up to 30, just just the heck, just for the heck of it. And look at this shot. No way. Signature pull-up. Check that out again with that hard light effect. Oh, that was smooth. So right here, Darren Williams misses. 
Jared Sullinger picks up the offensive rebound and slams it home for Sully Swag. Let's get that on Twitter right now. Hashtag Sully Swag. Start it trending right now, Press Start Sports. <laughs> Here we go. Jared Wallace going in for the nice left-handed layup. Getting a little contact, but still forces it in. 12-6. to 6, We are still losing. And we stopped that alley-oop from happening. Running down the court. Here goes Darren Williams. Alley-oop. Gerald Wallace cocking it back with the left hand behind his head. That was sick. Nice no-look pass to Paul George. Going hard. Slamming it home. Right over Jordan Farmer, I believe. What a nice dunk. This is going to be amazing. We have so much athleticism. We are 11th overall in defense and overall. Hey, but guys, really quick, can you turn on your music? Please, just turn it off. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Told you it was worth it. Off the glass alley, Gerald Wallace to Paul George. And once again, Gerald Wallace throws it up to Paul George for another alley-oop. And that was the play after. And then another play right after. Here we go, Paul George. Outside, Darren Williams. Sully cutting down. Alley-oop again. And then we got to throw an alley another alley-oop. No, I'm just going to pull up with a nice J. And then next play, Paul George goes up with another uh, nice easy J from around the midpoint range. Or, or uh, free throw line. And to finish it off, we finish it off with a nice alley-oop to Paul George. But that's all I have to say for this video, guys. You guys know who it is. It is Josh, a.k.a. Ubitable Fied, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.